Two years ago, I initiated a biological protocol with a budget that was practically a rounding error. My mission? To engineer a flawless coastal biome in a 45 centimeter vitreous enclosure. But I failed to predict the botanical genocide. I witnessed a ruthless socioeconomic crisis known as the vacancy chain, where the housing market crashed and tenants fought for calcium real estate. From structural engineering to a caloric insurrection fueled by deep fried starch, the peace was a lie. And this is the battle for the crab empire. Let's go back Two to day one. Past, I launched this audacious expedition, mastering the husband husbandry of terrestrial conobita specimens by engineering a faithful coastal simulation. Discovering these armored scavengers at a trivial 5 yuan per unit, virtually costless, I acquired a vanguard cohort. The arsenal? A mere 45 centimeter vitreous enclosure. My vision, a majestic beach-inspired biome. Commencing with foundational alluvial pebbles, scavenged from thoroughfares to anchor hydration vessels. Posterior fortifications erected via dual boulders, crowned with discarded textile refugia, courtesy of comrade Mr. Wang. Starboard flank, expansive fabric cavern, rear guard, a juvenile thorny halophyte, formidable spiny sentinel of seaside realms, flanked by auxiliary potted vegetation, foreground dominated by foraging beach creepers. Observing the initial scurrier sparked urgency. I flooded vacancies with premium coralline substrate, calibrating to equigravitational parity with lithic bases, then meticulously raked for planar uniformity. The habitat masterpiece achieved. Immediately, the hermit crab began exploring the territory. Myriad cryptic niches amplified defensive resilience exponentially. Behold this ebon-clad pioneer assaulting the coralline gorge, surmounting sheer escarpments via exquisite kinesthetic coordination. Exhaustion compelled temporary foliar cessation for physiological recuperation. Next dawn, provisioning initiated with lyophilized tubifex vermiculites. Potent chemosensory stimuli provoked insatiable mandibulation. This glutton replenished depleted energy stores ravenously. Day 3, ichthyoid granules broadcast, yet anomalous pocilliid entities, apparent tank contaminants engaged in antagonistic posturing, cryptic antennal semaphore and ancestral dialects. Abruptly, the scarlet dominance seized the alimentary depot, savoring with gusto. The alabaster rival, prior aggressor, infiltrated. Crimson superiority barred access initially. Undaunted, the Pale Tactician orchestrated vector redirection. Simulated impact diversion, infiltrating for swift nutritional acquisition and hasty retreat. Pulse-pounding maneuvers. Day 5, foliar gymnastics executed with precision balance. Transitioning to synchronized Pacific foraging. Deliberate mastication rhythms, refined pariopod grace, jubilant antennal spasm signaling gustatory euphoria. The legion flourished in harmonious trophic equilibrium within my bioengineered domain. Disaster erupted catastrophically. Sated one sentinel luxuriated atop coralline apex in heliothermic repose. <laughs> Another defied physics with celiped hyperextension. 180 degree elevation mocking equilibrium laws. Perhaps anti-precipitation vigilance. Fortnite elapsed. Temptation overwhelmed. I annex supplementary recruits, including a behemoth necessitating domiciliary augmentation. The Cerulean Titan's gastropod casing proved catastrophically subdimensional. I deployed elite turbinid reinforcements and commenced clandestine monitoring. Inaugural inspector repudiated trio for excessive aperture dimensions, ergonomic mismatch. Enter Xiao Hei, disenchanted with rudimentary quarters, yearning for opulent relocation. He executed rigorous non-destructive testing. Crevice scanning, spatial exclusivity verification, absent fiscal burdens, protracted tensile assay spanning 30 minutes. A fledgling opportunist hovered, anticipating pre-owned liberation. 
vacancy surrendered. Yet the avaricious evictee retained pristine legacy shell, exacting tribute for relinquishment, ruthless economic predation. Scrutiny revealed persistent attachment to antiquity despite abundance. Concurrently, another claimant seized the undervalued asset with alacrity, reveling in acquisition. Week later, Shaolan immobilized by constrictive legacy aperture. Pleonal incarceration. Xiaoju orchestrated rescue. Rhythmic tractive synchrony, postural reorientations, emancipation triumphant amid exposure warnings. audit exposed acanthophil trauma. Recreational filivory confirmed. These resilient masticators conquered sclerified barriers effortlessly. Mineral supplementation via marine electrolyte basin. Avid imbibition followed. Piscatorial cephalic offerings elicited mass convergence despite limnetic origin. Palatability transcended salinity. Subsequent observation unveiled linear aggregation. Size stratified phalanx, evoking locomotor emulation. Revelation dawned. Orchestrated vacancy chaining redux. Hierarchical cue enabled quadruple synchronous transfers. Deliberate yet inexorable. Lead rejection nullified cascade benefits. By monthly climax, novel solanum tuber strips provoked caloric insurrection. Initial sampling escalated to polykelic aggression. Substrate wide pandemonium as oxygen saturation plummeted amid frenzied domination. Two months into the epoch of the enclosure, I initiated a radical dietary deviation. I introduced a volatile high energy anomaly, the processed solanum tuberosum strip, known colloquially as the French fry. One even clad scavenger intercepted the chemical trail. Seconds later, reinforcements arrived, a dual pronged assault on the carbohydrate monolith. He didn't just nibble, he executed a full force drag maneuver, hauling the prize into the shadows. Ultimately, the colony reached total gastric saturation. The experiment stands successful. The hierarchy is fed, the chaos is contained.